Hello. So I'm back in the nether for a little bit. I've extended the nether tunnel up north quite a bit, or currently I'm working on expanding the tunnel up north quite a bit. And I can show you. Let's take a turn here. We've updated the server to 1.18. And we've picked a spot to kind of work at and restart. Don't come at me, bro. So we have an area set up here. This was an area that we scouted out. I'm not going to go outside just yet. I just want to explain. I am in my normal gear, normal, you know, uh, kitted out stuff, but we started over fresh here. So when I'm out here playing with uh, my wife and daughter, I take off all my gear and I have a chest outside, which I can show you. So this is my gear when I'm working here. We're, we're a little bit, I have a couple diamond uh, things, but I'm only out here to show you guys. So there are, you can see the new terrain and everything, but there are things that I want to get done back in our old uh, survival base area. And so when they're not able to get on, then I change into this stuff and I go back and I, I do some work. And then whenever they're able to play, then we come out here and we we play together out here as kind of like it's a, kind of as like its own separate world. But uh, we're working on building this house up here. We have this little island. I actually haven't flown out here. Um, it might I don't really want to do anything that I wouldn't do normally. I don't want to fly around. I don't want to uh, quote unquote cheat and see what's what's around. But we've kind of gone up and around these these mountains and things. But uh, that's not the point of the episode here. I'm. Um, I, what is the point of the episode? What I guess I wanted to say was that we have upgraded the 1.18 and we are doing things out here, uh, together, but there's another project that I was working on. I, I had mentioned that I was waiting for the copper changes. Um, so if you, if you don't know now 1.18, one block of copper you use a stone cutter, you will get four oxidized cut copper or four stairs. And that drastically reduces the copper you need to make grooves and, and things like that. And so there was a project back in the old world that I wanted to get done. And that's what we're going to work on here. Well, that's what we're going to work on this episode. So back to the old world. Okay, so back in our old home, I can show you kind of where our new place is at. So here we are here currently, and then all the way up here, the new place is right up here. And so this is all old generation. Uh, it's just a little boat ride from our, our new place, but all this, you know, all of the area around there is, is new stuff. But what brings us here is working on the town and, and making some changes. So I've the oldest part of the town, we've been redoing bits and pieces of the town here and there. And the oldest part that still exists right now is our, our little trading area here and our library, which the library, not entirely happy with. It was, we, uh, I built this right after the, uh, let me turn sounds down. All right, that's better. So I, we started designing this, or I built this. Not really, didn't really have a design. Just started building it after we got back from beating the uh, the Ender Dragon, and we first had our Elytra, and I, I went down and took an end city apart, and then came back and started building this. I'm trying to make something look interesting, and I'm not really happy with it anymore. But... Um, I'm a, I'm a big, I, I don't really care for having like villagers 
in like a one block cubicle. So I prefer to have them in a, a little bit more of an organic area. And I know that's like a really, uh, really hard to do because they're just miserable uh, to deal with. But I had, we had a, a library system set up. So we had librarians all up here. This is where their beds were at and their workstations were here and everything. And this was okay. They, there was a fence here, but they would still get pushed out by themselves. They'd want to talk to each other and push each other out. And then the, the other major problem was uh, they would spawn golems like all the time. And so we had to be carpeted everything. And then they would end up uh, spawning golems like up in the roof and are on the roof and or down below and the village is overrun with golems so if you don't know the issue is if two if three villagers can see each other within there's like a bunch of rules but if three villagers can see each other within a certain range and there are no other golems around there then they will try to summon a golem this is separate from when like if like from uh the iron farm we have out there where if they sense danger then they start charming or they start uh, summoning a uh, an iron golem but so I, i'm i'm trying to replace this library with a new library that will have all of our librarians uh, inside so um i've i've been working on the design for this and it's going to be kind of an expansion onto the the tower here but um here's my my dirty little secret down in the basement here uh so I said I don't like having them in, in little cubicles. But so this this used to be our our item sorter. Um, it's all stripped out now. But you put items in here. And then there was a row of items that would go all the way around just with hoppers um, that would sort everything. And so I had this space down here. And I went through and I don't know which one of these. Is. Some of these are not useful. I have a a librarian for every single uh, enchantment now uh, in in these in these spaces and they're gonna be the ones that inhabit the library upstairs so I'm, I'm tired of having them down here and this is what I was waiting for the copper update to happen because the part of the roof is copper and so I needed a lot of copper for this this building and which um, so yeah I have started gathering resources and I'm getting ready to be ready to build. I, yeah, so I've gathered some resources and now I need to find a spot to oxidize a whole bunch of copper. All right, so I've come out to the witch farm because northeast of here is one of the old uh, sand uh, quarries that we had. It'll have a nice flat area for, there we go, for me to put down some copper and let it oxidize. Copper oxidizes, copper will oxidize quickest if there are no other copper blocks around it. The more copper of the same oxidation value there are, the slower it takes. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the, the very uh, specific numbers and everything. But if you place a copper block uh, with no other copper blocks four spaces away from it, then this is the fastest you can uh, oxidize your copper. But I'm not interested in the fastest, uh, really. Um, there, there is one other way that you can speed up things. And when the copper is checking to see if it gets oxidized or is going to oxidize. It checks the blocks around it, and if there are uh, an ox, if there's a copper block with the oxidation state one greater than it, then it's more likely that it will oxidize. So I'm just gonna build a platform here with all the blocks, and I'm gonna seed it with a couple uh, oxidation states. Okay, well, I have all the copper laid out. We'll see if uh, this uh, experiment is doomed to fail or not. I haven't oxidized this much copper before, and I'm kind of curious what we'll see 
in the morning. It's uh, late at night for me here. I'm going to go hide in this little hole. And in the morning, we'll see where things are at. took a lot longer than I expected. That was an entire real life day uh, of AFK to convert all of these blocks, even with the uh, the seed uh, blocks I put in the corners. So um, I guess if you have a lot of time, that's fine. If not, uh, don't do this method. I'm gonna start collecting all of this and then we can go start the deconstruction of the old library and the building of the new one.
so the exterior is mostly finished, and I still have a lot of work to do on the interior here. When it's done, our mending librarian will be here. And I kind of have the the opening or the entranceway figured out how I want. I want to have this mostly still be open. I need to remove the drowned farm back there because it's a bit of an eyesore. But I want it to look like a library, so I'm, I've tried some things out in here. I'm going to decorate it with these uh, like bookshelves and, and things. and But then there's going to be all these different floors, and each floor is going to have several um, stations for a single uh, librarian. So this will be like, um, I don't know, uh, Silk Touch or whatever. It will be like a single enchantment here. And I'm just kind of working this out, but I'm going to vary the wood and, and make it uh, look a lot better. I'm actually going to have um, my daughter help me out with this because she's a lot better at interior stuff than I am. But they'll have like a bed and they'll kind of be self-contained. But the goal is to prevent the golems from spawning. They just need to not be able to see each other. So if uh, as long as three villagers can't see each other, then they won't spawn a golem as with the the village uh, spawning, not with the help me, I'm being attacked uh, spawning rules. But so each floor will have like several stations, kind of like a research, um, like university library area. Oh, I see, I missed some glass there. Um, but these sea lanterns are just placeholders and stuff. And I tried to match, when I designed it, I tried to match the, the floors up with the floors in the uh, the tower, and so I have to figure out how I'm going to connect those two up and, and make that look nice. But um, this clock actually works. Uh, it it you know has uh, lights that light up as the hours uh, change throughout the day, and it will reset once you um, like sleep or you know if you log in or out at the wrong time, it doesn't keep ticking. So whenever you sleep or whenever the day becomes um, morning then the clock resets uh, back to six o'clock. And uh, I had a whole clock built and designed myself. And then um, I found a video uh, designed by uh, snap to it. Uh, I think he has like six videos and four of those videos are clocks. And it's it did everything mine did. And it was a little bit more compact. Uh, it did a couple things better. And I just like the look of it. It looks really, you know, it looks like a good redstone uh, device. So I ended up going with that. And um, I haven't, uh, I didn't do anything with my clock. I had a video that I was going to make about it, but this is better in almost every way. So I'm using it. And uh, so let's go, if we go outside. Um, yeah, I, this is something that I didn't have in the time lapse. I'll actually roll a video now of this but let me show you what's in here first inside here are a bunch of my old uh, uh, villagers uh, traders they so there's a game mechanic that I have never happened to me before and that is a zombie siege so I'll roll the video here it happened to me twice while building this that I logged in to the game and it was already night and then immediately a zombie siege happened and so it spawned a bunch of zombies and the video that's rolling is the second time it happened. I didn't catch the first one on video, but it's really strange. It's never happened and it shouldn't happen because the mob switch is on right now, so they're, they shouldn't be able to spawn, but uh, they spawned. I, I lost a bunch of villagers. Uh, they. Some of them got converted and then burnt burnt up before I could, uh, uh, you know, put roofs on top of them. Um, some golems like killed some. It's it was a mess, but uh, really strange. It has to be some sort of bug because, uh, like I've said, like in all my hours playing this game, I've never even seen a zombie siege, let alone two, within like a few hours of each other. But uh, as for the exterior of the design. I went with a, I changed, I didn't really like the, I wanted to use uh, copper 
and I wanted to use three different colors of copper, but I didn't really like the the next two stages of less oxidation than um, than uh, for the copper. But I do like this. I really like how the prismarine looks. Uh, if you ever seen like an old uh, copper roof, there are some sections that become a little bit more blue. Uh, and I think that re I think these blocks really work together. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me get a little bit of a view on this. But I'm really happy with the exterior. I'm gonna have to do some more things with like how it blends into the ground. And um, yeah, I changed the tower bottom to match because the deep slate over here uh, bottom I needed it all to look look together so we can actually uh, get a better look. But um, I am very, very happy with uh, everything. I was going to see if my clock will change. It says it's still be noon. It should be changing over soon. All right, well, I guess with that, I'm going to uh, call the episode. Uh, I think next time I'm going to be working on the interior and trying to get that all. That's going to take a while for me to get figured out and everything. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.